Welcome back to Rich Air Doors. Back for another camp tonight. And tonight we're camping back on the Black Country route again. Like I said, that big long main road from the motorway that links uh, all Wolverhampton, Warsaw, Bilston. We're going to be camping along that road in a little cluster of trees just off the road. So it's going to be quite hairy. We're going to be really close to the road, really close to the path. This is the main road. And where we're stopping is just over that roundabout in a little cluster of trees. And I've got to get in there and set up before it gets dark. But it's also awkward because there's not a lot of cover. This bit's a bit awkward because you see there, all the traffic's backed up. They're queuing right where we're going to get in. So I'm going to try and take a wide berth. Go around wide. You'll see. Where it is in there. Now, I don't know about walkers over this way. It's a really busy road, so I don't think that's a concern. And like I say, we've got to, while it's light, we've got to remain low profile still because there is little to no cover in there. So here we go. So technically we're in now, which is a good job, and that was a little bit easier than what I anticipated. I thought I was going to be seen by everybody on the road, and I thought there'd be a big traffic jam, as there normally is. Seeing as we're in, that's good news. I'll probably just lay low for a bit, and get the kit out in a bit, guys. Nice one. Yeah, guys, it's just like a really small cluster of trees right alongside the main road. There is a path right by the road. So we're about, I don't know, say 10, 20, 30, 50 yards from the road and the path. So we're quite close. So now we're in, we've got to sit down. What we've got to do now is set the bed up I bought a basher with me, but I think I might just do Bivy tonight. Uh, there. 
it's nice and uh, it's got a big space there and this is the thickest part of the of the trees so let's go for it What I've done to make it as quick and as easy as possible and to reduce my movement, I uh, just want to make as little movement as possible because traffic's building up now, getting up to rush hour now on a Friday. I pre rolled everything. So I've got here, it's all there in a roll. Yeah, VV. my ground sheet all pre-rolled up I'm just gonna throw that out there yeah and I've got this cam on it as well just to give me a bit of extra cover so it's a proper job that is in here we've got the my new pillow one of Amazon I've got a wool blanket which has been folded in half and then half again. That gives me some good insulation off the floor. And I've got my inflatable air mattress, the Yellowstone one. Then I've got the normal foam pad. And then I've got the sleeping bag which is uh, Cruencha, I think, from Decathlon again, but it's only a thin one. I've gone for layers, not thickness. And then I've got this. Uh, BV bag which is in camo I had that off eBay I think some years back and this camo net will just help blend me in I'm just going to throw some of these leaves over it as well I'm going to pick that out not going to blow away now at least so that with the BV bag the sleeping bag the wool blanket and both my camping mats we will be snug as a bug in a rug tonight <laughs> oh yes that was a really quick setup that was that's where we're going to be sleeping it is a Gore-Tex uh, BV bag so I should be protected in that tonight if it does spit I've checked it's not going to be too bad if it does happen uh, that I've got a poncho ground sheet doubled up underneath as well to protect me from the floor extra and, and my bag and my sleeping bag and my air mattress I don't want that getting punctured or anything so I'm pleased with that it looks pretty cool man You can't get more low profile than that and as you can see I'm glad I came over and did it here and did it quick in the light because the traffic is building up you see I'm glad that we got in here before that happened we actually did a good job of getting in here proper job going dark now which means we've got in we've got set up before it's dark textbook now if I just show you where we are at the back there that's like a, a big hill 
we're just covered in woodland and I think there's some sort of canal or something that runs across there. So we quite protected him from that way. I've thrown all the debris, twigs and stuff over there. Um, there's a industrial building there, right there. And then the road runs there. And then those woods just continue over there. It's a nice little spot. I don't think we're going to get any problems. There's going to be no need for anybody to be walking down here because that island, if you're going to walk down there, you're committed to walking all the way down the Black Country route into Great Bridge. So nobody's going to do it, they're going to go over the other way, so it's a good spot, we're in, we're set up, so I'm happy, we're happy, this is where we are. Nice one dude. Thumbs up from me. If anyone's stumbles in it, which they won't, I'm pretty confident that we're going to be completely left over it. But if, if by any chance anybody does, they're not going to see that, you know, come on, really? And we'll be sleeping under there. So let's carry on with the old nighty whitey. Let's get some din din. <laughs> oh, look at that. That looks lovely. Bit of boiled sausage. Oh, it smells amazing. Bit of boiled sausage. Really smoky. Really nice. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Lovely. I'm ready now. I'm set up. Oh! Do you know what? That was proper job. I must say. Traffic started down a bit now. Just the odd lorry. But I'll tell you one thing. I am cream crackered. This is the campsite. everything away ready for B E D I am cream crackered so we are going to go to bed <sighs> proper job guys no guys Oh, see you in the morning, good night, sleep tight, oh, and don't let the bed book bite. <sighs> morning, morning, oh. <sighs> well, we made it through the night. And look at this fruit view that I woke up to. 
Right. Sleeping under the stars, eh? There's the road. Do you know what? That was a really good night's sleep. Really warm. Really comfortable. <laughs> Proper job. <coughs> so, uh, yeah. No complaints. No rain. Nothing. Just perfect. <laughs> It doesn't get any better than this, really. It's better than being an imp at home. So, we'll get up now and we'll uh, make a drink. And we'll uh, get moving. Carpe DM, guys. Carpe DM. <sighs> I've just discovered. As I got up, look, it obviously did rain last night, but it's all soaking wet. But I didn't even know. I'm bone dry, so this bag obviously works. So that's good news. I didn't even know it rained. I was Sleep. So, good result. Same yeah, man. Right, our water's bubbling away. We've got our Mokate Gold, that's going in, we have our all-in-one Nutty Hazelnut, that's going in, no danger, we've got a normal sachet there, Sugars in. It doesn't look the best, but I'm sure it's going to taste all right. Looks can be deceiving. Fingers crossed. Hope for the best. Yummy. <laughs> it doesn't look the best, but I'm sure it'll taste all right. Ha! Yummy! How do you like your coffee in the morning? I like mine next to the road. Let's try. Uh, nutty hazelnut. Very nice. Oh, ho, ho, that is just what the doctor ordered, that is. Yes. Mm. <sighs> Proper job. Proper job. Really nice man. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> oh. mm. Well, we made it through the night. So uh, let's get all this gear packed away now. 
and uh, let's get out of here pronto. One thing I am really pleased about is this setup. It's quick and easy to put out, it's low profile, so we'll get it packed away now and in the bag. That's all back in the bag now. Kick all these leaves back over. I know I keep banging on about it, but I don't know what I've been missing with that setup. It's so quick and easy to set up and put away. Really pleased with that. Right then, we have packed away as always. We've got our rubbish bag with us, and we haven't left a trace. None of this rubbish is ours. And if I start picking this up, I'll be here all day. So I've taken everything away with me. No trace whatsoever. Nobody will even know. So let's get uh, let's get out of here pronto. Okay. Green green grass, blue blue sky. Better to throw a party on the day that I die Right then Thanks for coming with me Thanks to everyone who's uh, viewed Liked commented and subscribed on everything I've done so far depending more where this came from I think that was a good night went really well better than I thought didn't have any trouble pleased with the setup uh, didn't get wet didn't get cold absolutely fun dabby doos of so thanks for watching to the end and I'll see you next time on Richie Outdoors Bonza